in this video we will be discussing about uh, searching the configuration in uh, the Cisco ACI fabric um, now say you have a multiple tenant and uh, hundreds of PD, EPG, L3 out, multiple interface profile and if you want to find out a specific IP, a VLAN, uh, any configuration in the entire fabric uh, say you have a um, 40, 50 switches then it's uh, so one way you can go to the individual switch and try to find it out or download the entire configuration and uh, search for it so instead of there are certain easy ways available one is uh, using the ammo query command and another is uh, doing the visual day so in this video we will be talking about uh, searching the configuration in the entire fabric using the ammo query Okay, so now let's say uh, I have a one uh, IP 10.1.1.1 and I want to search it, uh, it is configured whether it's in the BD or it's configured in the L3 out and if it's configured in BD, it's in the which BD it is configured. Okay, so what I'll do, uh, there is a command MO query space minus C and if I want to search in the all the BD, I'll do FP subnet grab uh, I'll use 10.1.1.1 okay it will give me the output uh, this 10.1.1 which is configured in the pt1 and the tenant tc1 okay now if you want to get the more data about this specific uh, configuration you can display the uh, out output using the keyword a, a and b a is above and b is uh, below so basically what it will display is uh, two line above the printed output and two line below this printed output so you can get the more uh, uh, output of this specific uh, keyword okay so i can see 10.1.1.24 .1 .1 this is the part of the bd1 10 and dc1 the configuration is uh, so I'm using this subnet as advertise and the chat okay so similarly if I want to uh, find out the EPG one the EPG one is uh, uh, where it is configured so I'll do MO query minus C FP EPG grab EPG one so I have multiple EPG1 configured in the multiple tenant so see EPG1 telco DC1 so there are multiple EPGs configured in this uh, um, fabric okay so now the question here is how do you get the what keyword we need to use after the MO query C so there are the document available in the CCO and uh, if you don't want to go over it Another way to do it is um, you can just uh, log into the APIC and uh, uh, download the configuration in XML. So, for example, uh, say I want to search for the router ID. Okay, so what I'll do uh, the router ID is it's always configured in the L3 out. So, I'll download the XML configuration of uh, any of the L3 out. I'll do right click save as only configuration subtree and in XML format okay so let me just open in. okay so for the router id so this is the router id um, 172.17.67.212 okay so the keyword is um, so we'll have to look at the uh, first word of the uh, configuration line okay so in this case is l3 external rs node l3 out edt so what i'll do 
I'll go to the ACI MO query minus C LCHT RSS Note LC out ATT So you can download the configuration in Notepad and uh, then you can just copy paste the keyword. Okay, so I'll just grab for the one seventy two. 1767 okay so i have a two router id 172 16 now if i want to get the more output see i want to look at specific for dot uh, 212 i'll display the output with uh, two line above and two line below so I got it. So it's uh, this router ID is configured on node 101 pod 1. Okay. And if you need more output, you can display with more detail. Okay, so it is in the common tenant. So this is the way you can uh, find out the keyword. Uh, so which specific uh, uh, output you want to search it, whether it's IP, encapsulation, interface profile, you can just download the XML of that specific component and uh, search for uh, the keyword, okay, using the, um, using the first line of the, uh, using the first line of that um, 